Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of What's Your Game Plan? Today, I'm gearing up for a sports-tastic journey. Join me for a quick start guide on how to start a sports equipment store online. If you're looking to make some money while catering to athletes and enthusiasts, this episode is for you. All right, let's learn how to start a sports equipment business online. Step one is to get a business plan. I want you to head over to fiverr.com and in the search bar, type in business plan. This is going to reveal hundreds of freelancers who are gonna help you identify your target audience and their preferences for sporting goods. Step two, you're going to decide on your sports equipment inventory. Remember, not everybody has the same taste or even the same budget, so offer a wide range of products that caters to everyone. Step three is one of the most important steps. You're gonna to need to find reliable suppliers, and there's different methods to do this. Method one is to find a drop shipping supplier, and that way you don't have to buy any inventory up front. To do this, head on over to Google and type in drop ship sports equipment and that's going to reveal hundreds of companies who actually drop ship sporting goods directly to your customer's door one of my favorite websites is called wholesale to be they have over a million drop ship products including sporting equipment and they're pretty well known across the internet they offer a wide variety of drop shipping plans for an affordable monthly price you can even browse their entire catalog for free before you sign up Okay, so the second method for finding a supplier is the self-fulfillment method. This means that you're gonna buy all of the inventory by yourself, you're gonna warehouse it, and you're gonna ship it out to your customers. If you wanna do this instead, you need to go to Google and type in wholesale sporting equipment. And that's gonna to reveal tons of different companies who will sell you sporting goods in bulk. And then you're gonna sort through all the different options and see what's the best fit for your store's inventory budget. Remember, when you're buying wholesale, you can actually buy all of these items tax-free, but you're gonna to need to file some paperwork. The paperwork that's required is called a retail merchant certificate, or sometimes it's called a reseller permit. And you can get this directly from your Secretary of State's office. The application is usually on their website. If not, you can give them a call. And it can range from free to $50 per year, depending on your state's rules. Here's an example of what those certificates actually look like. You'll give this to the wholesale supplier to set you up with a tax-free account. The next step is to register your business and set up your business bank account. So if you want to get your paperwork done really quickly, you can just go to mycorp.com and file as a sole proprietor or an LLC. They've been in business for over 20 years and their startup packages begin at only $99. So it gets you set up really, really quick. For business bank accounts, I like to use Square. They're really easy to work with. And not only is the account free, but Square integrates directly into your website so you can get paid out the same day. And they offer credit lines based upon your sales revenue and it's called Square Capital. The next step is to get your website created for your sporting goods store. Personally, I like to use Bluehost. They've always been super easy to set up and they give you a lot of extra freebies with their packages. So you can easily find a domain name for your sporting goods website and then go buy a hosting package. Once you buy the hosting package with them, just make sure that you save the login credentials and then you're gonna wanna head over to fiverr.com and then type in the search bar website design. Personally, I like WordPress websites because they're really simple, easy to set up, and you can find someone to make you a website in under three days. So the next step will be to create your sporting goods store logo and your branding. I like to use 99designs because they're the quickest, most convenient, and they do a really good job at developing strong brand identities, which is needed when you're trying to market a business online. The next step is to go ahead and start your marketing. This is a list of the target audiences that you're going to need to market to. 
and some of the strategies that you need to use in order to bring awareness and drive purchase consideration for your store. Congratulations, you now own a sporting equipment shop. So how much money can you actually earn? Well, let's talk about it. The average startup revenue for a sporting equipment store online is around $25,000 to $50,000 per year. But if you're starting this as a dropship store, then the startup costs are really low, usually somewhere around $500 to $1,000 to start. But if you plan on buying your own inventory, your own storing your own things in your own warehouse, and shipping out to customers, plan on spending $20,000 to $30,000 minimum in startup cost. I'm giving away my new marketing strategy book series for free. So if you want it, just go to my website, enter in your email address, and I'll send it to you right away. If you like this video or you know someone who needs to see it today, tag your friends, hit like, and please give it a share. And until next time, guys, take care.